What's up everybody, a spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the Space Engineers Inspiration series. Uh, when we left off, I keep saying that, sorry. We didn't leave off. Well, we did, but it doesn't matter what we left off on. So, we're starting things off with the, um... What is this called? I forget. Uh, Canade? 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 I don't know. One of those. Um, the description has, like, nothing in it, so I don't really know uh, what the title or anything is supposed to be, or whatever. Uh, but it was a really cool design-looking ship, and it had some really, really neat interior stuff. It's also using some of the newer mods that are coming out for weapons. Uh, you can see these kind of, like, AA gun-looking things, which are pretty cool. Uh, we've got some solar panels here. Um, I also grabbed this one for interior. Ooh. What kind of, a uh, block is this? Oh, it's an airtight door that's just painted. That's interesting. Um, so as you all know, on my, uh, survival let's play, I've been building a new ship. Which, it's not really survival at the moment, it's almost creative. But almost, yeah, it is creative. Um, so I thought this would be an interesting way to get to know how some of these blocks look. Like, this is all interior wall, which is kind of cool. Like, it's way cooler than I thought it would be. And then there's some mix of the vanilla interior blocks in here as well. Uh, air vent. I'm going to save the bridge for last. What is that? Regent stairs. Oh, that's interesting. Just doing them backwards like that. Um, so yeah, how... Okay, interior wall. Alright, and then this is the CWA floor. And then a corner wall. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Looks way better than I expected. This... A large assembler? I don't even know what that is. It's kind of cool, though. Alright, so we got our refineries. Uh, interior flooring and stuff. Interior wall. Mixed in with some of the other interiors, as well as the conveyors and standard plating, it looks like. I'm taking a lot of note on the building blocks this this go around just because of wanting to design my own. So I'm guessing this will go to like a hangar. Yeah. Ooh, what is this? Glass stairs. Oh no way. That's so cool. I'm guessing is there no button or anything? There's a door here. Oh, unless I missed it. It's probably, like, down here, maybe? Ah! Button pedestal. Oops, that's open and closed. Oh, there we go. Now that's cool! I haven't actually used these before. These retractable stairs, but I'm going to use them in everything now. That's amazing. That's so cool! That is so awesome. Alright, so we're gonna leave that. Oh, and that's pretty cool. They put an angle block here so it would, like, match up. That's neat. That was a good idea. This is... Oh, that's just a smaller med bay, I guess. Um, so one intriguing thing... Oh, is this... Re are these retractable stairs? Is that what these are? Glass bridges. Oh my... Because I was just thinking to myself, how do you... Like, that's not a hangar door. Oh, jeez. That is a really cool way to do hangar doors. I did not even think about that. That is so cool. That is awesome. Oh, and then they gave it like a block buffer so that it could fully retract. That is so cool. Love it. Love it to bits. 
Alright, so this side is probably going to be the same as the other one. Yeah, reactor. Doesn't look like it actually goes any... What is this thing? Oh, a big thruster. Okay, I was like, what in the world is that? Every once in a while I'll run across these blocks and I'm just like, I don't even know what this looks like. Alright, so let's check this way. What do we got here? Control panel tells us what all's going on, how much cargo space we have. Ooh! That's cool. And same on this side. It says they're idle. That's kind of awesome. Alright, so let's check bottom layer. Alrighty, here's living quarters. Now these are the large hallways. This isn't bad for like a kitchen mess hall kind of look place. Oh! And then we see. This is what I kind of wanted to do: is break up what you use where. All right. Now this is just interior wall blocks. But this is a pretty cool way to use the basic walls and interior wall flooring. I'm assuming these are all the same. Yeah, it looks that way. And then using the- I kind of like this ceiling. This is pretty cool. This is pretty neat. I'll have to check on the... Oh, this isn't as bad as I thought it would be. I'll have to compare it to what we're using in our build. And see how the cost material-wise adds up. Oh, wow. Batteries. Programmable block. This must be running all of the... Yeah, this is running all the LCD panels. Probably, well, maybe not all of them, but it's at least running most of them. Wow, that's cool. Oh, that must be the main bridge door up there. Timer blocks. Ooh, I like this. With its little interior wall thing there. Or a uh, column. That's cool. I really like that. With sound blocks. Not bad at all. That's a cool design. Now, in that case, what goes up here? Alright, so this is the actual... I don't know, is this the bridge, then? Yeah, okay, this is what we saw before down there. That's pretty awesome. Because you got like your... You could say this is like a GPS uh, 3, 3D map of like whatever your course selected is or something. That would be kind of cool. And I can't really tell how fast it's moving, but... Wow! I don't know what all this stuff is. Gunship... Mobile factory fighter. Oh, these must be drones that you park inside the ship. No wonder my game was kind of chugging. All right, so let's take, let's get out of here and take a peek at those real quick, and then we'll move on to the next build. Should have just left these open. It's not like I really need the air. Why did my jetpack turn on? Oh, wow. So these aren't little ships, either. I mean, they are, but they're not. That's kind of cool. Mobile factory. With a... I guess a refinery. And a cargo container. That's kind of cool. Oh, they had a little truck. Looks like little exhaust ports. That's awesome. Fighter... Glass minulet? I wonder if I'm saying that right. What is that supposed to be? Just another fighter, I guess? I don't know. Weird. I 
These have some pretty cool looking little guns on them though. I want to try these. Uh, okay. Not like anything neat. I'm king of the world! <laughs> that looks like one of those where they're, uh, um, when somebody's driving in a convertible and you stand up. It's like, I'm king of the world! That's kind of funny. Although I can't fire the gun for some reason. Bulldog 5, Bulldog 6. Ah, there we go. That's what I wanted. Oh. Hellfire missile. I don't see that. That must have been a... Oh my gosh! I can't see. It's probably the actual azimuth cockpit, and they probably haven't updated it to the newer character model. Still. Alright, we're gonna move to the next one. Okay, so this one, as a heads up, um is very frame intensive it's a lot going on um, so just keep that in mind if you're having if you have a weaker system also um, I probably won't be flying it too much other than just testing some stuff just because of it being kind of all already frame intensive um, so this is the oh gosh Aris Aurorus no what is this called um, Asano. There we go. Maybe? Axano? Axano? I don't know. I'm bad with pronunciation. Um, so, this one is actually really cool. It's the same developer behind the Sol Solaris or something um, from the last episode, the greenish smaller fighter. It's a small grid system, um, as we can see by the ratio to the astronaut, but it's obviously a big ship. I mean, it's a small ship, but look at the size of the thing. I mean, it's it's kind of big. So that's probably part of the uh, um, the frame rate hit is that the smaller grid ships that are then built bigger have a lot more vertices. So it's always more intensive on the system than if you were to build a big, uh, large ship. Now I'm assuming. Oh, <gasps> what? Sensor button! Sensor button. That is amazing. Every ship needs this from now on. Ever. Okay. Oh my gosh! I could just do that all day. Come out. Control panel. Come here. That's so cool. Alright, do we have gravity? We do. Okay. Ooh, now this is nifty. I gotta get my grinder out so that I can check everything. They need, like, a diagnostic tool. That would be cool, so that you can just check things. So this is a bumper? Sure. Oh, and because it's a small ship, you can use the SNC on structures hmm, to make little steps. Intriguing. Hinges. Awesome. My new favorite thing that I've... What'd I do? Oh, is it just warning you that the hangar's coming back up? Or the, the hatch is closing? <gasps> That's so cool. Is it going to stop? Oh my gosh! So cool. Okay. Wow, no wonder it's frame intensive. There's like... So much detail going on here. There's We got the Death Star flooring or interior... Are these lights? Hold on. Hold hold the phone. Fake light plate. Okay. I was like, if that's actually lighting things up, but it's inside the floor, we're we're going to have my new favorite block. But interior fake light plate. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they actually give off light, so I wonder where the light is actually coming from. Ah, there it is. Hidden lights. Got it. So this is kind of cool. They did like a... Oh, it's like a workshop. It's like a workshop thing. Oh, can't figure out where I am. I don't know what this thing is. Or detector. I almost thought that said or decorator for a minute, and I was like, what? So there is so much detail in this. 
Small encased gyroscopes. Wow. This thing must move. With little encasing plates to make it look like a shelf. And oh my goodness. Just all the detail. Gotta take it all in. Oh, now this is cool. That's cool. It's a, it's a maglock plate. And then you put... It's probably set to like auto. And then when you drop or spawn in an object, it's just going to catch it. That's really cool. I never thought about that. What is this? Why does it have a green bar? Medium cargo container. So what is this thing? Window slope. Oh, it's on the other side of the window slope. Is that an oxygen farm? Maybe? Alright, so let's go up here. I love the Death Star lighting. That, that was a really great idea. Oh, what is being used for flooring? I'm I keep looking at different ideas for this stuff for my own build. Um, unfortunately, I'm not doing it on a small grid scale, so some of this might not work, like the SNCN devices and stuff. But this stuff, this is the little things that to me makes you a good builder versus somebody like me that just builds and hopes it comes out okay. Is when you put like blocks and stuff, but they're all the same block. It's just the way you color it and the way you design it and everything that just looks really awesome. And then this has like a frame to it. Cryopods. Ooh! Why is... Wait, how is there only one? Is that a new mod? Whoops. I wonder if that's a new mod. Cryogenic pod empty. Because whenever... The only cryopods that I knew of were, um, or that I know of, actually, was from, I think it was, there was one done by Sage and one done by Darth Biomech, I thought. Um, but they were both double pods. I've never seen a single. So that's interesting. Um, ooh, you have a bathroom. Your face goes here. <laughs> that's great. That is awesome. Uh, so shower and stuff, I'm guessing. Is that an actual shower head? Oh, it's a wire. <laughs> tricky, tricky. And a bed with a TV that gets no cable way out here. I don't know what that button does. It might not do anything, actually. Captain bedroom. Ah, I see. Yeah, the description said it's supposed to hold six people, so... Before we go there, that's probably the bridge. Let's check down here in the hold and see what's down here. Am I the only one that every time you see these Death Star control panels, you kind of want to shoot them like they do in the movies and break them? I always wanted to do that. So we have an airlock there. That's interesting. Battery left recharge. Left reactor's door? Ah! So they've sealed the reactor. That's probably a good idea, I guess. Oh, wow. A lot of reactors. Uh, left one, left two. So there's four. I broke something. Oh, I hit R. That's why. Oh. Nifty. And then this closes it. These turn the recharge on. That's cool. Same over here, I'm assuming. Um, this is interesting. What is this? Air? Oxygen generator? Yep. Oxygen generator, cargo container, assembler, and refinery? No, oxygen generator. Where's the refinery at? There's gotta be a refinery somewhere. Unless they're behind these. No, that looks like interior wall. Hmm, interesting. Unless there's a refinery somewhere else, maybe. Maybe down below. Looks like these pipes do run off somewhere. Okay. Oh! So is this the actual cockpit? Someone else is using the ship. Oh no! Someone else is using the ship! Um... I don't know what this is for. But that's a pretty cool way to do a cargo hold, though. I cannot lie. Oop, wrong way. 
I hope I'm not missing anything. I probably am. Whoa! Timer blocks must be for aesthetics. Please tell me they're for aesthetics. Because if these actually did something, I would just freak out. Like if this was a door combination or something, like this would just freak me out. Oh wait, they do actually do something. Timer turn ship on. Ship on. Timer ramp open. Wow. Okay, I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. Timer land fold. Wow, that's cool. So basically, instead of doing it with like programming blocks or something like that, they just did it through timers. Interesting. And then, okay, so this is like main crew core. Oh, look at this! A camera and a wheel when they're not... It looks like they're not quite built yet to get the right effect. It looks like a oven or a stove. Or both. Time and date. Very cool. Bunks for the crew. Stations for the crew. Very nice. Very nice. I do definitely think the uh, Death Star inter interior is fitting. It has a very Death Star look to it. And that's not actually because of the things being there. It's just, well, you know. Okay, so... What do we got here? One is ship on off. Two is landing procedure. Three scattergun. Four auto cannon. Five heck burst. Sure. Six close all interior doors. Seven interior lights. Eight antenna broadcast. And front camera, rear camera, rear ramp. Cool. All right. So, what was the interior doors? Close all interior doors. Want to make sure everything is secured? Yes? Okay. Um, landing procedures. I'm guessing all of these are going to like retract and pull up. What is pulling those up? That's weird. It must be some kind of modded piston. Uh, can I fly? I don't think the thrusters are on. It must be part of the timer. Maybe. Possibly. <laughs> Maybe. Hello, oh, there we go. Gotta turn the ship on. I guess. Oh, look at that! And do these thrusters turn on in the back? Oh, that's so cool. It sounds like it's actually warming up. Oh, dang. Goodbye frame rate. This thing is kind of awesome, though. I mean, graphically intensive, as the description says, but this thing's kind of awesome. Scatter cannon. Auto cannon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Things are breaking. Alright. Okay, so on to the next one before this breaks something. Alrighty, so here is the Aurora Solar Array. Um, now, one thing to note, this there's no mods in this one. So this is actually kind of impressive that there's no mods in it at all. Um... It's not a very, like, big, big ship in terms of a cruiser kind of thing. But it's got a very, very cool concept to it. If I can ever find a door. Why am I so bad with doors? I can't ever find doors to ships anywhere. Alright, now... There's a sensor here, but this is to a blast furnace and all that kind of stuff, so that's not a door. Alright, cool. So, inner workings wise, we got a med bay here, looks like. Which, how. Oh, there we go. 
timer blocks, which I'm not sure... I don't want to mess with them because there's actually, like, a real method to the madness kind of thing in this particular build. Um, we got vents here, though I'm not entirely sure why there. Maybe there's just the only place they could fit them, I don't know. Down to another level, we got a cryo chamber with a waiting room, I guess. I don't know. I'm making this up. Um, so jetpacking up. Now, when we get in here... So like I said, that's kind of the ship. Like, interior-wise, there's not a whole lot going on. But, it's got one really cool feature. Uh, I don't know what all the cameras are for. Uh, but if you press the one, which is the timer block, we watch awesomeness unfold. So, basically, it's like the name implies, it's a solar array of solar panels that unfold and um, the description describes it as blooming almost like a flower. I don't know how long this took to figure out how to like coordinate. It's all done through rotors and everything. There's no mods, no hinges. I have no idea how long this must have taken to coordinate and make sure all of it works and unfolds right and doesn't break anything. Like just tons of time I would imagine. But I mean kind of puts all of my solar related stuff to shame like when I'm talking about like oh I want to make like solar panels that fold up or something this is like the epitome of fold up solar panels like that's just awesome I thought that was so cool and especially with a one button push too that it's like really impressive that there was no you don't have to coordinate anything or try and do stuff, but it's all these tiny little rotors and stuff. Like, this one adjusts to a certain angle to keep these panels where they need to go. There's one here, there's one here. Um, there's rotors that hold all these in place. That hold the uh, the glass. Like, just, just a lot of time and effort into all that. And we all know how much I hate rotors, so I don't think I ever would have the patience to pull something like this off. Well, that is so cool. Alright, so I think we're going to wrap things up on that note for this episode. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!